Okay, I've come back with a new battery. The reason the uh, misters didn't go off was because I had it on manual and uh, not automatic. So, right now, uh, applying fertilizer to your your uh, sphagnum moss. We can use uh, seaweed concentrate. Use the uh, menu tech fertilizer, or you can use this one here, which is. Orchid Plus Grow, which has no urea in it, but it's a very quite low in um, the uh, the nitrogen levels. <coughs> now you can fill your uh, container up here with water, the watering can, and apply uh, one little scoop of the Manutech and. A f um, about three or four mils, maybe five mils of seaweed, or you can uh, a apply um, up to ten mils of this into one of the nine litres, or you can use one of these sprayers, these pump sprayers here, which just pumps up the pressure, and then you can spray it out from there. Now it's uh, this is a foliate feeder or sprayer and this one here is a saturation um, fertilizing where you can pour water pour water or stuff straight over your plants in that manner with the fertilizer in it. Now sphagnum moss responds very very well to the fertilization and the amount of light that you give it all right so um, this will grow quite rapidly once you apply the right amount of humidity fertilizer and light to it so uh, you can as you can see it grows really really well just comes out of these these pots all over the place and uh, out the back, off the back here it just grows all around there as well uh, a lot of these pots like this one I've already harvested from that pot there look like this one and uh, you might see here with the helium forest how it's grown so thick and even here it's even growing out of the pot it's, it's uh, quite amazing stuff you can see there how it, how much it actually had grown how much, that's how much I've pulled out just at that little corner there and put it in my bin and pull some more out keeps coming out and out alright so there you go that's that's how it's growing so your humidity your temperature good quality water overhead spraying and fertilization once a week with a 10% strength of um, either the Manutech or the um, Orchid Focus and a bit of uh, seaweed fertiliser in it will help no end to growing your uh, sphagnum. As you can see here it's just this water here off this tray is continually dripping down here now you can see how it's water's dripping on there it's not there's nothing holding this up it's just growing and see how let's get, let's see how thick it is there. Now I've just picked that up. Now you can see where I've taken it from, and this is the amount I've got. That huge amount there—it's just come from one little 
spot there so it does grow very very well all right um, now I've got also got a friend called Dimitar I'm going to show him a plant that we've been talking about for quite some time this is a uh, Cryptia cross ventricosa all right it's growing reasonably well there and um, this little plant here I did a cutting some time ago and this is this is the plant I'm going to send to Dimitar. Okay, all right. So that'll give you some idea of uh, growing sphagnum moss. So you've got to have, oops, Daisy. You've got to have quality water. All right. Must have quality water. Must have uh, not not too much heat and um, and good misting. good fertilization program and you too can grow sphagnum like this these are on trays these are this is just sitting on a tray here so i've got a wood fr a, a metal frame base i've made a frame around it i've put um, this is uh, weed matting and the sphagnum just sits on that what does it sit on it there's nothing else underneath, no, no, um, um, no soil, no peat moss, no nothing. It just sits on there and it grows in these great <laughs> lumps like that. All right, so um, there you go. That's that's how it grows. So it's no great mystery or anything, but you've got to have give it the right conditions.